had some leftover camo. I love you. Hey everyone. Okay, so today, who is really echoey in here, I am in a whole new different place. I didn't move or anything like that. I'll explain later, maybe. But it's a whole new world. It's kind of nice, but it is very echoey and I didn't notice that until right now because I just started filming right now. Things are surprises. I'm doing a Target haul yet again. Are you surprised? I, I mean, I did one like early last month. I felt like that was okay. I just don't ever get sick of Target. I just always love Target. I can't get away from it. It's my favorite thing. And this time was really crazy. I got all clothes, but I got a whole lot of clothes. And I've switched into this mentality where I'm like, I'm just not gonna try things on. I'm just not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna pull it off and go, and I'll, I'll try it on at home. And, and then I'll bring stuff back if it doesn't fit. Well, are you surprised that that doesn't happen? I'm almost ashamed. Right after I did it, I tweeted and I was like, guys, I'm just like, I'm almost ashamed of what I just did at Target. I think this is my biggest Target haul ever to date. This is it. I'm ashamed, don't worry. There is shame here. Don't be confused. Let's just look at the Target stuff and fall in love because I already have. So yeah, this bag doesn't even cut it. I mean, there's like hardly anything in here. I put it all on hangers. Okay, so first off, I'm wearing one of the dresses right now. I can't really like get up and show you, but I am in love with this dress. I think it might be my favorite thing that I got from the whole haul. Not totally sure. It is black and white stripe, business in your face. It is long sleeve, but it's not totally long sleeve on me, but it kind of works. It's a little puffy sleeved and it's short. It came with like a hideous belt. Let me show you. It's actually not hideous, but it is so not my thing. Brown with gold and it looks really, really cheap and cheesy. I do, however, think it would be really cute with a little belt, but I don't buy belts. I don't have a lot of belts. I don't even know how to start with belts. Where do you buy belts? Where do I begin? I'm in love with this dress. I wore it to my dad's birthday dinner and I'm like wearing it with these orange earrings right now because I'm kind of a, still in the Halloween vibe. Um, I don't know. I'm in love with it so, so much. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Beetlejuice. I'm thinking Beetlejuice too, but it's kind of like a mix between what the mom would wear and what Winona Ryder would wear. So it's kind of like 80s mom, but also black and white stripes. You know, do you see where I'm going? That's where I'm going. We went there. My next most favorite is this leopard number. I don't know, it kind of feels like silky. And it's kind of the same fit as this dress, except the sleeves are super belled out. So it's like all 70s in your face slash I don't even know what. And there's kind of like cutouts here where it's just lace, love, big exposed zipper. It's just like flowy. I think it's gonna be really cute once it gets cooler here. One day, maybe Texas will get cooler. I can wear it with tights and like my little motorcycle jacket and like some boots and stuff. Definitely gonna be wearing this one well into next year. I can already see it. I love you. I just can't get enough of leopard. What can I say? Next, this is another favorite. This one doesn't seem as fall, which is sad, but it, it's got cats on it and I'm all about the animal animal print, not like animal print, but print of actual animals. And I don't have, I do have a cat dress. I just lied to you. And I got the other one at Target too. I have a problem. It's not really a problem. It's actually really cute. I actually have seen other people wearing this on Instagram. In fact, I think someone even tagged me in their photo, like of them in the dressing room trying on this cat dress and being like, hey, I could totally see you liking this. And I was like, oh, you are so right and I found it and I love it and it fits so well and it almost feels like I don't want to say high-end because it's Target but it's like a it's not flimsy like there's got like a solid lining on the inside and I'm just all about this dress and I don't know how I'm going to transition it into cooler weather but when there's a will there's a way I'm all about this Meow. I'm allergic to cats but I'm not allergic to wearing them luckily and again it has just like on this dress it has like a little teardrop cutout kind of thing which is very cute to me that's definitely like office gear for me you guys sometimes ask like what do you wear to work how does biz cash work for you that's how it works for me i'm kind of crazy no matter what next yet another dress i got so many dresses but i did get other things too so don't lose hope if you don't even like dresses. But this one is so awesome to me. I think I got deodorant like all over it because I took the pictures of the clothes before this. So that's maybe why my hair is crazy. I don't really know. But it's like a, a cobalt bright electric blue and it's got this cool like mesh detail and the back is really, really cute. I should wear my hair up when I wear it. It's kind of like a racer back 
but with the mesh and it's not scuba material but it kind of feels like scuba material mainly i just wanted to say scuba material i'm fascinated with the existence of that so yeah again i think that will be really cute for fall tights and stuff like that i have fall fashion aspirations they just can't be fully formed at this time next we have another leopard thing and it's got like this weird middle of the chest cut out i think if i was like a shorter girl it might show a little cleavage but luckily i'm not and it's just like hey here's a little window to my chest bones it's sexy you know it it's got these little like mini half sleeves i kind of like that kind of thing it's just a super comfy kind of like stretchy cotton-ish dress and like i said i never get over leopard this kind of reminds me of like peggy bundy which you know for me is a good thing most people maybe not i don't know i'm not judging you next we have this dress i was actually kind of unsure about this one because they had other ones that weren't this floral but you know i love a floral over black that's just my print of life i just love it so much and i love the mesh at the top it's kind of wrinkly right now i don't know how to fix that i don't think you can iron mesh nor do i ever like to iron but it's really cute it's a little sweetheart neckline and it's just flowy and it's comfy and it's not too tight or binding or anything it's got the exposed zipper and yeah like it but if you don't like flowers they do have different prints with the same dress or we could be twins don't you want to be twins get this one not to be bossy next i got this little skirt and this skirt is kind of tricky because i got it in a small initially i got an extra small and then i had to go back and get a small because the extra small was so tiny i like couldn't get it even like past halfway up my thighs it was very very tight um the top is supposed to fit like right on the waist so the waist fits me but it is a major struggle to like get it over my booty I have a weird body it becomes a challenge to find things that fit when they don't have any zippers it's stretchy and it's cute and it's got kind of like these little i don't know rhinestone details i don't know i love little skater skirts like this i wear them all the time this one's not too horrifically short so i definitely think i'll be able to be wearing this with the any tights or whatever all the way through the fall and the winter and things like that it's not too dressy it's just like comfy stretchy any day everywhere skater skirt they should really start putting that on the tag at target i'm really good at making up catchy names for things next this one's really weird and definitely not seasonally appropriate well not seasonally appropriate for everywhere here actually i could totally wear this like today it's a crop top and it's by marvel comics and it's all spider-man i'm not a comics girl i'm just i'm, I'm nerdy obviously but i don't go to that level I don't know why it just never appealed to me i think it's because i didn't have brothers but this shirt totally appeals to me i think it looks really cute with that skirt i think it could look really cute with like high-waisted jeans which like my top shop ones i don't know big fan of this all the way around makes a complicated adjustment to wrist strapping web holder and pretty good sound effects too we're just discovering all my talents today next i got two of the same shirt it's that cute i know i had to so i got two different colors i think my favorite is the black and white um, not that you can tell really what's going on because for some reason i decided to conserve hangers in this moment um but they're really cute i'll show you the pink one this is the pink and blue one and it's kind of just like a half sleeve thing it definitely makes me feel like a professional woman which i never feel like maybe someday starting with these shirts they're like see-through but they look cute with jeans untucked they look cute tucked in with like a skirt i don't know i just i see the possibilities i'm all about these shirts and i almost just got the black and white one but then i was like you know what colors are friendly and so i went for both when in doubt buy both it's a terrible terrible thing to live by okay so i just have two more things they're both really casual and i love both of them very 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 much first this is my mickey sweatshirt so cute it is an actual disney brand thing and it's kind of like all speckly it looks like kind of like a retro throwback kind of 90s thing i swear i had something like this when i was little i'm into it have you seen my mini leggings i don't have them with me but if i wore my mini leggings on the bottom and my mickey sweatshirt on top i might be committed but looking awesome it's not easy wearing a whole disney outfit <laughs> 
Okay, and last thing, I actually did not get a picture of this, but it's kind of self-explanatory, you can imagine. It's just a tight little t-shirt and it's kind of semi-burned out, but it's camo and it's just a simple t-shirt with a v-neck and I'm a big fan of it. I had some leftover camo. All right, so that's everything I got at Target. I know I went really crazy. I'm gonna go back on my Target ban. I'm not even gonna go close to it to even go to the Starbucks. It just, no way, no more Target. I kind of went crazy, but I really love all the stuff they have. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you have any comments or questions or whatever, you can comment down below. I love hearing from you guys, and please hit me up on Facebook or Twitter, or Instagram or Tumblr, because I'm all those places, and I love talking with you over there as well. And yeah, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you already have subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys coming back over and over again. Every time I upload a video, I upload probably about two times a week. So if you subscribe, you'll be able to keep up with me. I don't move that fast anyway. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Luckily, I don't move that fast anymore. <laughs> It's getting hot in here. My contacts have turned on me. Hello. Makes me look like a monster. I'm not a monster, still the same girl. Or actually, this is nice because every red doesn't work for every skin tone, so I can see which one works best for me. I think the darker reds work best for me. If you saw that fall tutorial that I did, I wore the super dark, kind of cranberry brick red lips. It was actually complimenting me really well. Like when I looked at myself in the mirror, I'm like, that's extreme.